noise is making us sick. But around the world, people are taking on the assault of sound on our minds and bodies in lots of unique ways. We meet a woman in India who spent almost two decades finding solutions to make Mumbai quieter, that she's now been nicknamed the Minister of Noise. One of the things I did was to generate data, which was the first data on noise pollution probably in the country. There wasn't any at the time. All I really did was pay attention and then try and get the views stories of these things together so that they would be most useful and that there would be a collective voice against noise. That's all coming up on People Fixing the World. After the news from the BBC. Hello, I'm Neil Nunes with the BBC News. Donald Trump has angrily defended his handling of the coronavirus outbreak in the United States which has killed 23,000 Americans. During a bad-tempered White House briefing, he said everyone who needed a ventilator had been given one. Reporters accused the president of failing to heed early warnings about the virus. Mr. Trump gave this reaction. Nobody's ever heard of closing down a country, let alone the United States of America. But if I would have done that, we would have had hundreds of thousands of people that would right now be dead. We've done this right, and we, we really, we really have done this right. The problem is the press. Mr. Trump also said he wouldn't be firing Anthony Fauci, the country's top infectious disease expert. He described him as a wonderful guy. Earlier, Mr. Papa. Trump retweeted a comment that Victor warned the doctor Fauci to be fired. Yes, Mr. Bose. Speaking of the White House briefing, Dr. Fauci said he'd been answering a now hypothetical question. Is my sequence Skyway SSB radio? And what you are listening is BBC World Service. Very nice, loud, and clear reception you are getting on this radio. Very small radio. This BBC World Service transmission, and you can listen. On 5.30 a.m. on this particular frequency. Schools will gradually reopen after the new extension, but restaurants will stay closed. Portugal has announced it'll keep its land borders closed for another month as neighboring Spain takes the first steps to allow more. So thank you very much for reopen. watching, friends. A month ago, both countries closed their borders to all but good This is Rio 3 Uniform Ecolima, 73, says Portugal has been from Alibaba near Mumbai, Spain, Maharashtra, in India. The, the authorities in Ecuador say the security forces have removed nearly 800 bodies from the homes in the cities of Guayaquil in the past three weeks. Details from Matias Sibel. The port city of Guayaquil is the center of the coronavirus outbreak in Ecuador. Local mortuaries couldn't cope with a large number of people dying from COVID-19. Images of bodies abandoned on the street caused widespread shock, prompting the government to set up a special team of police and military personnel this to do the radio. as well as collecting bodies this is from also home. Great start the team radio. has retrieved more than 600 from hospitals whose morgues are full. 398 MP. Real speaker, stereo, the authorities in Ukraine have closed an Orthodox Christian monastery in Kiev and the two of its members died from COVID-19. The monastery has recorded more than 90 infections. In other news, the U.S. Senator and former presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders has endorsed Joe Biden's campaign to take on Donald Trump in November's election. Anthony Zucker has the big report. Bernie Sanders made a surprise appearance during the Joe Biden live web stream event on Monday afternoon. He said he would do all that he can to help the former vice president defeat Donald Trump. I am asking all Americans, I'm asking every Democrat, I'm asking every independent, I'm asking a lot of Republicans to come together in this campaign to support your candidacy, which I 